All right, here is part of at least one antique piece that is in the down, one of the downstairs rooms. This is, goes with a dining room set. As you can see, supposed to be English, get it to focus, uh, supposed to be English walnut. Uh, I believe it was from the 40s, 1940s. All solid wood. As you can see, they don't make these anymore. You have two drawers, same over there. Let me get a long shot of it. So this is one piece of the dining room set. Okay, while well, I'm in this other room, in the foyer, this is other piece of the dining room set. Currently using it as a display case for my old cameras. But nevertheless, it is a part of the dining room set. While I'm in Alright, there's the other piece that goes with uh, the dining room uh, set. You can see the leg is broken off, but I do have the leg uh, because this is what happens. This is what happens when you try to move furniture all by yourself. And therefore, I am not moving anything else by myself. Renaissance period uh, desk mostly covered with dust because uh, it's not used but you can see it is all I'm not sure what the name of that wood is but it is all solid as you can see no particle board uh, maybe you can tell from the, uh, let me get focused here, from the uh, pieces that go with it there, of its period and time. And you can see it's all engraved with a coat of arms, uh, the same coat of arms. Let's see if we can focus, go all the way down the legs on both sides uh, it had nothing on the side of it here I think this was valued at somewhere around ten thousand dollars so uh, this is probably the most expensive piece of antique I've got in the house let's move along to this other room now here's the uh, dining room table it is full of, uh, these are odds and ends of uh, fine bone china. Uh, these are the ones that don't have matching sets uh, like uh, Royal Dalton, uh, Print Royal Albert, Lennox. Uh, anyway, that's the dining room table that goes with the dining room set. See if I can focus out. And it does it is an expandable table it has two extra leaves two leaves let's see if I can get through to it two extra leaves that go in that dining room table now this is a uh, El Cheapo TV stand probably only worth about 50 bucks However, this couch here that all this stuff is sitting on is an antique couch from the, uh, I believe I was told it was from the 20s or the 1930s or 20s. You can see it's all good on the arms. Uh, there is a little bit of wear on this arm right here, but let's see if I can zoom in. That's the only wear on it because this, this couch has been kept with a cover on it. And uh, in a minute, when I go upstairs, I'll show you there are two, two matching chairs that go with this couch. Now here's a chair over here that needs reupholstering, 
but it is the older chair and it is uh, from the 1919 what do you call it 1910 or so because it was my father's mother's thing so it was uh, fairly old but with a reupholstery job it could look good uh, matter of fact the wood let me zoom in on the handles there uh, yeah, zoom in come on focus 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 anyway you can see that the wood along the edges of it are in excellent shape uh, my grandmother on my father's side had no pets in the house here we go over here oh by the way there's some more of that Royal Dalton stuff there's a two-piece matching set there uh, computer table that's sitting on that I built myself uh, let's see there's another uh, Royal Albert set with a tea kettle I believe they call this uh, end table here I believe they call it a claw foot yep it's a claw foot and it has a draw I believe this is cherry this is a solid cherry table now this uh, coffee table right here uh, could be refinished and it is solid wood it is from the 40s no, uh, late 40s I believe late 1940s is when its state of manufacture was Okay, move over here to this other side of the room. Of course, we got some shutters here or louvered doors, whatever anybody would make out of them. I'd let the whole set of those go for a hundred bucks, probably because they're not finished or nothing. And here we have another. Uh, let's see. This table right here is a. Uh, cherry yeah that's the one that was cherry uh, solid cherry table something like that probably valued about three to four hundred dollars and there's another table that looks almost identical to it over here but it is walnut uh, another walnut table there and there's an eight piece Lennox set of these dishes. Now I think if I'm not mistaken, these dishes, the whole eight piece set cost around $1,200 when it was new. And they have never been eaten off of. They've been in this stored up condition, just like these, uh, I think this is the Country Roses. There's a four piece uh, country roses that have never seen a piece of food and a complete four piece set with a set of uh, with a what do you call that thing teapot and I think that thing uh, uh, my mother bought it when it was on sale you know how women are with sales she got that whole set for just under 500 bucks so you know something to me that It'd be worth a lot to a woman, but to me, not so much. Uh, we have uh, this other piece of furniture here. Don't know exactly what you call it. It's a uh, end table. That's from the 1800s. <clears throat> so I walk around here. Uh, this is another piece that came about the same period as that desk out there. It's got all wood carving or hutch or whatever this is actually two pieces let me zoom out uh, lead glass uh, that thing stands about seven foot tall total and uh, well you can see the thickness of the wood they don't make this anymore this was probably uh, from the way it's put together uh, 1800s maybe late 1700s and all solid uh, all 
lid glass, which <laughs> probably illegal to make now. <laughs> anyway, you got little side doors. Uh, one, two, three, four, four drawers there, and uh, an open piece on the bottom back here. And there's uh, most of the what do you call it? I think they call it the the knickknacks that go on it. You know the little uh, things that that go on to the the uh, pieces here. And there's the uh, hardware that goes with it uh, for that. Now let's get back over here to this piece. I should be able to see some of the wood carving, how it's carved here. If I can get this over here into the daylight. Uh, box full of frames. You know anybody likes frames? All of this stuff here. Antique nonsense. There we go. It's upside down, by the way. <laughs> There's the bottom. There's the top. So uh, that's all wood carved uh, from the 1800s. Definitely old, antique types. All right. That's one of the chairs that go with the couch that you saw downstairs in the junk room, of course. The exact same matching design as the couch. And, uh, you know, of course, you can re reupholster it with whatever you want. This chair, you can see it's always had a cover on it. My mom had pets, so uh, she always kept these things with covers on them. Uh, this one here has got some wear, even though the cover was on it. So needless to say, this was the chair that was under the reading lamp. And... As you can see right there, it needs to be, be reupholstered. And but the arms and the wood, the wood on the chair is still in good shape. Right. Down here, a couch set like this. Cap, you know, if all of these were sold together, and that's the only way I would sell these to would be as a complete set, you know, couch and chairs, uh, the whole thing would probably have to go for, well, I'm guessing around 3,500 to four, four grand for all three pieces. Now, over here we have two identical sea chests from, I'm guessing, the eight, early, <coughs> late 1800s to early 1900s. Um, judging from the way it was put together, uh, get a good side view. This one here has stuff in it, so uh, no, the stuff that's in it does not come with it. But it's a little bit different put together. Well, I thought this one had stuff in it. Ah, it does. It has lots of things I have these are all handmade uh, handmade uh, what do you call these things Afghans uh, I don't know Afghan could probably be worth I don't know handmade about 150 bucks for a handmade Afghan uh, let's see what we got on this side uh, more Afghans handmade yep another one handmade Afghan these here are not worth anything uh, I got three hand, three handmade Afghans. <sighs> now this is nothing that went over an old uh, thing. Here's a big, huge uh, chest. Let's see if there's anything in here. Which old card? This is the stuff. There's a quilt. All these quilts are handmade by relatives. Not sure whether I'd sell them or not. This one here has one, two three four quilts in it there's a nice looking one 
just quilts. Okay, now in this room, there's a furniture set. Right. That's from the 1800s. And that matches these two end tables. So I'm, I'm thinking this used to be a bedroom set. I don't have any headboard, but I know I have two end tables, that and that, that are exact matches. So any furniture that's a match would all go together. So uh, yeah, this is all solid wood. Uh, you can see how that's made, how it's put together. <laughs> Ain't got a key to it. I don't know from the, from the way that looks. I'm saying it might be early 1900s. I know it came out of my grandmother's on my father's side, so undoubtedly it's pre-World War II. I know that. Okay, so we got that and that. Uh, cheapo table stand. <laughs> hey, there you go. There's something worth 10 bucks. And a free television set. Oh, before I go out of this room, let me... I think they call these clawfoot tables. I'm not sure, but I know they're old. So, uh, it's like a complete table. And there's another one. These are all solid wood, no particle board. My mother used to use this one as a sewing table. So, uh, that's all solid. And yes, those are all paintings. These are, none of these are what you would call um, lithographs, so those are all hand paintings. Of course, uh, it's my own artwork, I, uh, being a photographer. Let's, let's see what we've got in this other room here, if there's anything to go. Oh, okay, there's an antique. It's a chair, all hand carved. It's got a uh, Hand card with wood. I think they got that with that desk downstairs. But even as an individual piece, that chair would uh, would have to be around uh, pretty close to a grand. I'm not sure exactly. Make me an offer. As long as it isn't a stupid offer, you could almost have that chair. Okay, let's move on. Make sure there's nothing in here. Oh, there's an old light on here. <laughs> Star Trek first generation or next generation. <laughs> not, 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 nothing worth much. There's all my photography stuff. I'll be keeping that. No, that none of the photography stuff is for sale. Uh, okay. Let's move on into the next room. Alright. Here is a piece of a child's bedroom chest. There is a desk that goes with that, a matching desk. Uh, it is solid wood. All these items I'm showing you are solid wood. There's no particle board. Uh, here is a uh, end of bed chest I guess is what you call it just slap full of stuff this one is made in Milton PA didn't get it to focus but uh, there's no real date on it so I'm not going to say it's an antique well I don't know if it's older if 50 years is an antique yeah it's an antique because I know it's older than I am okay here is another chest. Uh, let's see, it's got a lock on this one. A little locky button. Yep, it's cedar too. There's another cedar chest. A little bit more fancy than the other one. It's got a, 
It's got a few engravings and stuff on it. There's a cedar chest. Now, this bedroom set, okay, there's a couple of little cedar things there. Uh, there's, there's some more $10 or $15 things. Right, now, the bedroom set consists of this. I guess you would call this a chest of drawers. I think this is from the 50s. Let me uh, open up one of these. But as you can see, there is no particle board. This is not your Walmart stuff. Open it up here. Okay. This is uh, all solid. As you can see, even when I was a child, there were horses on this place. <laughs> oh, look, there's the first truck I ever drove. <laughs> Anyhow. See, uh, it was my brother. Ugly, wasn't he? Anyhow. Okay, there's, that's one piece of that. Oh, there's a solid copper picture holder. A free TV set to go with it. And this right here is... Let me get up to the side. You don't need my picture. Another piece of that. There's the thing. There's the matching, I don't know what you call it, dresser drawers with mirror. That's all part of the bedroom set. There is uh, one end table. There's the other end table. Uh, the headboard. And all of that would be considered one complete set. And uh, let's see. Uh, in uh, okay. probably would have to go five grand for the whole set uh, that would be one complete set uh, those things there are probably worth I don't know three hundred a piece three hundred the child's bedroom set seeing as it is solid wood and it goes with a desk that goes with it uh, probably about six hundred bucks for what that's worth Okay, let me go out to the shed now. I'm sure there's, there's other things in here. I mean, there are, I mean, women would probably know what this is. Uh, uh, Dooney Burke, Dooney Burke handbags, uh, stuff like that. So there's a wide variety of other items besides handbags. And now we'll go to the shed. All right, there's the desk. It's just dusty and uh, sitting out here. It was covered with stuff, but uh, that's that child's desk that goes with that thing that was upstairs. All right, there's the chairs that go with that dining room uh, table that you saw in the other room. There's one, two, three, four. And of course this is a shed, so it is piled full. There is a real marble top uh, dresser, uh, solid uh, black walnut, and something like that would probably go for around 800 bucks. Uh, solid oak coffee table here. Uh, uh, about 200 bucks uh, And here bolt behind this I don't know if you can see it But this dr this thing right here if nobody's ever heard of one if I can zoom out zoom out Come on zoom 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 out is what they called a old sugar chest back in the old old days sugar was uh, bought like once a year and there is a solid walnut sugar chest uh, from the 1800s uh, you're looking at about five hundred dollars for something like that and in the back here is a couch the wood on that couch is in good shape it does need to be reupholstered 
but you're looking at probably a probably just a grand for that couch and it's from the 1930s so a 1930s couch for just a grand looks like a good project for somebody uh, well no I can't be I'm sorry I'm sorry because there's a chair matching chair now the chair definitely needs to be reupholstered but you can see the wood on the chair is in good shape so you would have to take the chair and the couch for fifteen hundred chair and the couch for fifteen hundred uh, there are some other things in here that you can pick up for less of a price like I said the uh, solid walnut 1800 stressor uh, see that uh, what else is in here uh, we've got some handmade old chairs uh, oh there's an old pie cabinet over here uh, you could probably pick up for about 800 bucks let me get over here into the corner uh, here we go if I'm not mistaken let's see their cherry oh well, let me open it up and see if I can get a better look I know it's definitely a handmade deal uh, yeah, it's just a bookshelf right now but because here's the original see if I can zoom out why does this keep going on telephoto okay there's the original shelving and it looks like here somebody just stuck some plywood in and on the bottom is all original so there we go. This is a, well I know it's handmade because my uncle made it. So it has to be somewhere around the 40s or 50s. I'm not going to go antique on this one. But it is all solid wood. Something you will not find in today's market. Anyway, more chairs. Of course, this this is the chair that goes with the dining room uh, set. Well, there's one in here that doesn't, but needless to say, we can sort them out. When you come here, once we get them sorted out, we'll come up with a final price. But if you're looking for somebody to give uh, this stuff away to you, uh, please don't even come and visit me because... Uh, I am not giving it away because if you anybody anybody that gives away antiques is uh, all they're doing is hurting everybody else by devaluing you devalue everybody else's stuff by giving it away you are better off to burn it than you are to give away thank you